Did a woman turn into a cow after she slept with another woman's husband? Throughout the half of 2022, the internet was swarmed with a video of a lady with cow legs and a wiggly tail being surrounded by onlookers in what can be described as a strange occurrence in a particular town or place in Africa. This video went viral. Everyone was sharing it. It was one of the most viral videos on the internet in 2022. Many people have called it fake and a few other people have said it's real. And in this video, we will talk about the possibilities of it being real or it being fake. The first video was of a woman stopped on the ground, her legs as that of a cow, and the tail wiggly behind her dress. And it was said the incident happened in Tanzania. And according to the story, it was said the woman had gone to sleep with another woman's husband, and after the incident, the wife of the man she slept with placed a curse on her, which eventually turned her legs into that of a cow, giving her a tail. And still surrounding this same period of time, this video was not the only video that we saw that is of similar situation. There was another one of another woman in the same condition. Cow legs, wiggly tail, and onlookers surrounding her, consoling her, even with one having a native doctor or a chief priest perform incantations on her to maybe help her situation or find a cure for it. Then there was another one of a man this time around. This was a man this time around with his legs as that of a cow with the same wiggly tail behind him, this time whining and crying and even making sounds like that of a cow. With these three videos and a few others that we may have not seen, it's almost safe to say there is a chance that this might be real and there's a chance that people might be believing that this could be real because it's not just one isolated incident. And from what we hear, the first video was said to have happened in Tanzania, that is that of the woman, while the one of the man was said to have happened in Zimbabwe. So if this is a trick, what trick are they playing on us? And how come these two countries that are away from each other on the map are experiencing the same kind of fetish effects? Now for the man, it was almost similar situation. He had gone to sleep with another man's wife and the man placed a curse on him and turned him into that. Although some sources claimed he stole a cow and uh, eventually turned into a cow, which is, is hard to know because once these videos start going viral, people start to interpret their own stories themselves. So it depends on what you heard or where you heard it. Some sources will say she stole a cow or he stole a cow. Some sources will say he slept the cow. Some sources will claim he slept with another man's wife and had a cost placed on him. But the general notion now, judging from the two women's video, it seems as though these women or these people had gone to fornicate or commit adultery and had curses placed on them. And funny enough, it's easy to believe this strain that these people were affected by some sort of affair that they were having with other people's husband because this is not a secluded or this is not an isolated uh, situation for people who tend to sleep with other people's partners. In many African societies, there have been a lot of stories that we have heard that has affected a lot of people who may have slept outside their marriage. Because in Africa, there is a high level of superstitious belief. We've seen a case of people having their private parts go missing, especially men, and that is a widely believed phenomenon. Especially in Nigerian society and maybe in Ghana, where a man could just be walking and another man would tap him and next thing you know, he's complaining that he's penis or his private part is not there anymore. We've seen numerous cases like this where people claim that their penis is gone and their suspect has to perform an incantation to bring it back. People believe that. And then we've seen ones where 
people get stuck during sexual intercourse where a man or a woman who is sleeping with other people gets stuck and a uh, chief priest or a uh, native doctor has to come to make incantation to separate them in their private region. This occurrence itself, this phenomenon has a name for itself that is so widely believed. And when you see this train of beliefs, this train of fetish and unusual occurrences that is really not very explained happen, especially as it pertains to married people or people committing adultery, you can see why people are believing that this is real because it happens in different forms. So why are people now doubting this? What are the chances that this is most likely as true as it can be? especially if it pertains to people sleeping with other people's partners. But at the same time, we are now in an era where a lot of people are now questioning a lot of things. We are now in a period of time where people are like, oh wait, is this really real? I mean, gone are the days where we see these things and we just believe. If this was a time of newspaper, trust me, this would have been a widely believed phenomenon. As per se, the other beliefs that we've been hearing, people getting stuck, people's penis getting missing, people dying, people developing some form of deformation from fornicating or committing adultery. In those days, it used to be published in the newspaper. There was not this social media community where everyone from different countries can come together and reason. So that is why those beliefs lasted as long as they did. But now we are in an era where it's on the internet and people are making comments. We are seeing people's comments. We are seeing people express their opinions and their thoughts and criticizing the situation itself. Which is why when it comes to this half human, half cow situation, many people have called it bullshit. Many people have called it fake. And people have pointed out a lot of factors that would make you see that there is a chance that this is staged and most likely may be fake. For what is what, what these three people have in common is the fact that they are always in one position. We don't see them move. We don't see them crawl. I mean, it's not like your legs went missing. You now have cow legs. You could use it to move at least. <laughs> Cows move, don't they? So if a cow can walk with that leg, you too can walk with it. It's just that it's going to look awkward, but at least it will give us a sense of picture. It will give us a sense of a clearer image that, okay, Okay, this is real. This is a half human, half cow. But half the time, they are in one position. They are not moving. They are just sat in that spot and they are not even carried away into a stretcher to the hospital or to a native doctor. It's almost like the native doctor is the one coming to meet them. But if you turn into half a cow and you need help, you should be transported. But we don't see these so-called victims being moved. From all the videos we've seen, they are always in one position, which gave a lot of people the idea that what if their legs were buried in the sand and the cow legs were connected to it and put under their dress? Which brings us to the other uh, factor that half the time we don't see a direct fade or connection between their own natural skin and that of the legs of the cow. For the two women, their dresses are over the legs and for the man, his shorts or whatever he wore was also over the legs of the cow legs. Which is making people feel like the same thing, that these legs were shoved down their clothes and they are made to react and stay still so that it can look real. But the one thing that a lot of people on the internet have struggled to explain or debunk is the wiggly tail. The tail that is always moving. And it's always moving in real time. I mean, it was a living animal buried under their butt because the tail that we see from all three is always also moving. Although when I brought it up on a pool on my Facebook and on my Instagram, People did say that there is a chance that that may have been connected to a battery. And, I mean, I see the possibility, but then it's still left with a question. We still need proof beyond reasonable doubt. But I do see the possibility of a tail being connected to a small toy that can make it wiggle. Maybe they are sitting on it, but then, at the same time, that tail wiggling kind of makes everything real. Or looks real in this case and maybe until we get a better explanation as to why the tail is moving effectively as though it's attached to a real human cow or to a real human being that is half human and half cow it's hard to understand why does the tail move like that i mean there could be different possibilities there could be different answers i mean i do see the button that makes the tail move i do see um 
okay, wait, I don't really see any other thing apart from that explanation. I'm really sorry. I don't really see any. It could just be a battery situation because other than that, I don't see any. Did they bury a live cow head there and put the butt up so the tail can move while the cow is struggling for its life? I really don't get. Another thing again that I also noticed is that the ground level where these people's legs were believed to be buried are usually very plain and clean and prepared and almost as leveled as the rest of the compound on the ground. So it's hard to see that their legs or somewhere something was dug. You know where somewhere was dug? It looks fresh. It looks freshly dug and the sands are very fresh there. But in a lot of these videos, it's almost level, especially for the woman videos where the native doctor is making incantation. All the ground looks level. So it's almost hard to see that their legs were buried all the way in, even though that is a very high possibility that could be the actual explanation to that situation. So guys, these are all the explanations regarding this situation that is making a lot of people calling it BS, calling it fake, calling it staged. And I do see it. Left for me, the fact that these people don't move from one place to another is suspicious enough so whatever is going on under their legs under their gowns under their trousers we need to know what it is we need to know the trick we need to see how or understand how this could be pulled out especially when we see it in two different countries we need to understand how this can be achieved it looks like a magic or a trick of some sort and it would be nice to see it explained to us in true details and hopefully whoever is explaining get to explain to us with pictures and maybe videos of exposing these tricks other than just us going with our thoughts and possible um, explanation and imagination as to what could be the reason why that is happening on the flip side there are people who strongly believe that this could have been real there are people who have said they've seen it happen in person they've seen it happen before their eyes and they've seen it happen uh, multiple times before it even became viral on the internet and that it's real and i don't blame them we have many beliefs and many fetishes and many phenomenon like this that happens on a daily in Africa that people believe a lot. So I don't blame anyone who believes this is real, saying that we still haven't gotten a concrete, the bonk explanation as to why this is fake. So I guess the burden of proof is on those who say it's fake. Prove it to us that it's fake. We have to be the one to prove that it's fake. So this is as far as we can do. And it still leaves room for doubts, which also kind of helps the case of those people who believe it's real. But my question to you guys watching is, do you think this is real or do you think this is fake? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to tell me where you're watching from. Give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe and turn on notification button should there be any future video, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Mo <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>